guys, I literally felt the moment that I timeline shifted. Okay, so it, I know it sounds really weird. Okay, so I was at this place to get my car inspected for a state inspection, and they had like the cutest dog ever. And get this, her name was given to me a few weeks ago. I saw, uh, well, I saw a cat in my mind's eye, not a dog. But anyway, I guess sometimes your intuition can be a little off. Anyway, I saw a cat in my mind's eye and I, I got the name Tessa and I was like, that's, that's genius. That's a genius name for a cat. Like I don't even own a cat though, but it's a genius name. So anyway, I get there and there's like this adorable dog and they're like, oh yeah, she's our customer service dog. And I'm like, dude, does she love people like this all the time? Like she came up and, and, and like shook my hand. Like she, she held out her paw and she was like, just the friendliest dog I've ever seen in my life. And he's like, oh yeah, she just, you know, she says hi to everybody. She loves everybody. I'm like, this dog, can I take her? Can I take her home with me? Um, and so we, we started laughing, like the whole place, they had, oh my gosh, so many cute guys there. And they're all mechanics, which you know, you know if you know, okay? Mechanics are like the sexiest people on the planet, really, no joke. And anyway, the, with their all greasy shirts and, oh my gosh, it turns me on. Anyway, so I was like, okay, this is quite literally the best day ever. And I don't even know that I'm going to be able to afford repairs if my car comes back, whatever, you know? So I asked the guy, the owner, I was like, do you guys do payment plans? And he's like, no, we don't. It's just cash. And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> okay. So I, I get on my phone and I start scrolling through my, my feed and I'm like, I don't know what it was, but it felt like somebody had just blessed me. Like it, 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 I didn't really see anything in particular that made me smile. I just had this overwhelming sense of peace and happiness and joy. And it was like, I literally couldn't contain my laughter. I started giggling and it, it looked like I had just seen a joke. Like, I, it, I think that people thought I was crazy. So I like, I hid my smile behind my hand and I was like trying not to look like a crazy person. So then I was starting to act like I had seen a joke on my phone. Okay. Cause I was like, people are going to think I'm, I'm like honestly insane. So I was, I don't know. I just felt like this overwhelming sense of giddiness. Like somebody had just looked at me and complimented me or something, but it was far more than that. It was like a piece that just, it, it, it felt godly. It felt godly. And, and I, I was like, is my caffeine kicking in? Is that what it is? It just might be my caffeine. Uh, so anyway, uh, I started giggling. Two seconds later, the dude comes in. He's like, you're all set, all good to go. I'm like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Like, it's 20 bucks? He's like, yeah, you're done. And it took like 10 minutes. I was like, nah, -uh, you're lying to me. You guys, you're lying. It's just 20 bucks. Yeah, it's just 20 bucks and you can have a wonderful day. And I was like, oh my God, thank you so much for being the best people I've ever met in my life. I love you guys. And I started professing my love to these people. I did. I was like, I love you. I, just, I don't know who you are, but I love you. And it's like a family run business. It's so cute. Like the dad was the nicest guy. Okay. So, so the daughter is the, the, the clerk, right? She's the receptionist and the dad, the owner was the guy telling me about the payment plans and stuff. And I was so shocked because after they got done talking to me, he went and told his daughter, you know what? I really appreciate you today. I love that you did that. You did this for me. And I didn't even ask you to, I can't believe you went above and beyond for me for that. Like I just wow, the the appreciation In a mile, this, turn man, left. this man had for his daughter, it was just so beautiful. It really was. I I was like, is this guy serious? Like, is he really really serious? He cares about his employees and he cares about his daughter and he cares about his customers. And I'm like, this is the kind of business that. I really just want to see thrive in the world. And it, it was like the first time for me in a while that I had post apocalypse 2020, you know, that I had seen a business that I really wanted to support. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm sorry, but so many people took advantage of the, of the little guy, even small businesses, not all of them, but some small businesses did. And this is like the first time I actually saw how money works, you know, like, Equal energy exchange. Like if you give to them, they give to you. And I, I saw it like, like they really, truly love people. And, and they had this Bible sitting on the table 
um, for, for customers to read. And I popped it open and it was so po poetic. I, I, it was like, I can't remember what it was. Take the it was next left, great. then anyway, turn right. <laughs> the Bible verse, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, it was such a beautiful moment. And, and it was like the second I saw the end. Oh my gosh. And gas is 333. Look at that. Look at that. Divine feminine numbers, girls. Okay, guys, this is like the best day ever. I'm not even kidding. Look, 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 look. I am manifesting. I told you guys the other day I was manifesting like 30 cent gas. That's what I'm trying to manifest where gas is like 30 cents. It's a joke, but it's not a joke. That shit's real somewhere. Some reality. So anyway, um, I just, I just witnessed gas go down a whole dollar since the last time I was out, which I think a lot of you are probably like, my God, when's the last time she left the house? <laughs> anyway, it's been a minute. But anyhow, um, last time I knew gas was like way higher and I looked today and gas is way lower and I'm like, okay, beach, I am shifting timelines like a mug. Okay. I'm shifting like, like the fucking owner of the matrix. Okay. I'm making matrix my bitch. So the guy was so adorable. He was like, ma'am, you just have an amazing day. I hope you come back. It is so nice to meet somebody like you. And I love these people, okay, down in South, because I'm from Michigan, so I'm from up North, and we we definitely do not have accents. It's everybody down South that has accents. So anyway, I um really loved those people, and it's like as soon as they knew that they could relay good news to me, it's like... I almost heard them telepathically telling me or something because I, I don't know why, but I had that overwhelming sense of peace and calm come over me. Um, and I'd been trying to manifest them saying like, yeah, it's 20 bucks. Have a great day. I've been trying to manifest that for a couple of days now. Um, I was just so shocked. I, I like, oh, I didn't even, oh shit. I parked in the wrong spot. Guys, this is what you, damn it. This is what you get. This is what you get for not concentrating. Anyway, um, what a great day. Like, today is just an amazing day. It really is. It's it's such an amazing day. And I'm going to go into the grocery store. And you know what I'm going to find? I'm going to find sales and discounts. And I'm going to find things and people that are just so kind and so loving. And they're just going to be so happy. I, I just know it. Today's going to be an epic day. Because I expect miracles. I prayed. And I told God, today is the day I want miracles. I want to see miracles, God. Like, I want to see something. And would you believe, guys? Your destination is on the left. Guys, stop. I literally parked in the wrong spot. And so I went to a different aisle. I went to a different parking spot. And this dude literally backed out of the second parking space. Literally the second parking space as I was pulling in. I got the second parking space to the door. Because I, I went to the wrong aisle. Oh my God, it's magic. It's magic. It really is magic. I I went to the wrong spot, sat there for 30 seconds. If I would have been a little bit too early, I wouldn't have got this spot. I mean, it's just crazy the way that shit's going down in my life, honey. So anyway, today's a magical day. Everything's just going to get better and better and better because, well, it's owed to me. We are all owed good karma. I think that eventually you get to a point where you're like, Good karma isn't even like, oh, I wish for it. I wish for it. Fingers crossed. You get to a point where your vibration is so high and like you, you've you become light as a feather that it by the law of attraction, it has to come in. It has to. It's not even just, oh, I wish for it and I have to pray for it. No, you technically don't. I mean, I did tell God today I want miracles, but you don't have to pray for that. You have to just know like you have to know how the law of the universe works and well the law of attraction is a law for a reason it's non-negotiable just like gravity that shit is working all the time um you just have to let it in and so with the with the gas prices being 333 right the divine feminine number like you have to let it in you have to let it in and today that's just what I'm doing I'm just letting it in and nothing can can get me down i just i just why why would I let it? Oh my God. Why would I let it? I never used to be this creepy like stalker, but I'm, I'm looking at this man right now and I'm like, oh my God. I, I've never been one of those people watchers. You know, I actually get freaked out when people stare at me at the grocery store. So I never wanted to be that creeper, you know, but like right now I'm in my car and I'm staring out the window at these people and I'm like, oh my God, I'm one of those people. 
I'm one of those people now. Um, guys, just a beautiful day. It really is such a beautiful day. Okay, with beautiful people and be and not a cloud in the sky. Bright, beautiful, sunny day. It's like crisp autumn air. The leaves falling about 70 degrees. 70 degrees in freaking fall. And I'm like, yes, yes, today is the best day ever. That dog was the cutest thing I've ever seen. We were speaking telepathically. She was just like, girl, I got you. I got you. It's going to be an amazing day. That dog was telling me amazing things. She's like, you got this queen. Basically, that's what Tessa told me today. You got this bitch. You've been owning this matrix since 2022. You own it. You own it. Oh, I'm just so happy today. Like, I just want to share love with everybody. I just do. And that's what I'm going to do today. So guys, I'm going into the store and I'm going to, I don't know, just like smile at everybody. I'm going to be like, I love you. I love you. Like, I don't know who you are, but I love you. You know, like there's this old dude standing right in front of me and I'm just going to tell him I love it. I love you. Mm, well, he didn't say it back. That's cool. That's all right. You know what? You don't say I love you so you can hear it back. You say I love you because you have an overabundance of love to give. This old man doesn't. He does not have an overabundance of love to give. But that's okay. That's okay, right? Please, dude, don't hit that. Oh, no. Okay. He is a little preoccupied. It's okay. But uh, anyway, I still love him. You know what I mean? I love him. I love everybody. I think God is so beautiful and it's about to be raining blessings on people. I'm here for it, guys. I'm here for heaven. You know what I mean? Like, it's a vibration, bro. And I'm catching the vibe. I'm catching the vibe. I'm so fucking here for it. I just can't believe Spirit told me her name before I even got to meet her. So cool. And when I was leaving my apartment this morning, I was going to post something on my community post. I was because I had predicted something from the future. I, I, I thought that my neighbor was coming out of the apartment too at the same time, which sometimes happens. But I had a dream the other day that we ran into each other and we talked in my dream, which actually it was more of a, I think it might've been a dream, but I think it was an astral projection. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, so I thought that I had predicted the future. So I was going to write something on my community post. And I was going to ask you guys if you can predict the future. If that's like one of your psychic gifts. As you guys can know that a conversation is going to happen before it happens. I was really curious to see if that happens to you guys. And so ironically enough, I actually predicted that I would meet Tessa. I thought it was a cat. But <laughs> it was a dog. But yeah, I predicted that I would meet Tessa. It was just amazing. I can't even believe that it happened. I just can't. Here's another guy now. Let me just wave. Nope. No love. It's okay. It's totally fine. I'm going to find that one person today. And when I say hi, I hope you're having an amazing day. They're going to be like, wow, I needed that. I need that today. I, you know what I mean? There's going to be that one person that just... They receive it too, you know? You're going to find it. In a world among zombies, guys, you're going to find that one person who's like, you know what? I so needed her smile today. I needed it. I'm excited to see who that's going to be. Anyway, I really love you guys. I want to know if anybody can predict the future. It's freaking epic. I think I'm going to do a pick a card soon where I where I um, channel like what your guys' new gifts are. Which, did I do that recently? I envisioned doing it. I, I tried to visualize doing it, so I can't remember if I did or not. Did I? Shit, I need a better memory. I don't know, but I was going to do, what are your psychic gifts coming in? And I think I'm going to do that soon. I'm so excited. Guys, today is just such a beautiful day. So beautiful. What a great day. What a great day. And there's like so many. Okay, well. I was going to say friendly men, but they're, they really are not that friendly. I don't know, man. I don't know. They're not, they're not as friendly as you think. Anyway. Um, okay. So yeah, that's it guys. Okay. So I'm really excited. Okay. So, so the sticker that I got, 
right? It says I passed inspection. And I was like, dude, my car is like 13 years old. I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming. <laughs> and, and it wasn't even just like the state inspection, which I looked at the list of shit that you have to do to pass inspection. I looked at the list because the guy's like, well, this is what we do. But then we go above and beyond. We look at your filter. We look at your hoses. We look at your everything. And I was like, oh, shit. Do you have to? <laughs> I was like, please pretend it doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah. No, I said that. I said, just, you know, you don't have to do that. He's like, well, it's free. It's on the house. We just like to look. So he looked at all the fluids, everything. I was like, please don't. <laughs> just don't. <laughs> don't fix it if it ain't broken. Okay. Um, so anyway, so there was like a list of maybe a hundred things that people have to pass. And then on top of it, he did like all the hoses, the tires, the everything. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe it passed. My car is so fucking ancient. How did it pass? Anyway, guys. All right. So I just feel real good. Um, I just feel really good today. So I think I'm going to go. Yeah, it's getting warm in here. So I'm just going to go and I have to pee. Um, yeah, I gotta go. Hi. I found her. I found the one that would be receptive to my smile. I found her. She parked right next to me. Guys, yeah, I'm going to go. I'm so happy. I'm just so happy. I got to go share the sunshine with somebody. All right. I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.